Okay. Shoulder grabs. Single handed shoulder grabs. Um, a very common attack, which you see in an awful lot of street fights. Someone basically comes in, they grab the person by the shoulder, they pull that person in, they start throwing punches, they've got elbows, they got knees. It's a pretty effective technique when you think about it, when someone grabs you. The first thing that normally happens is you tend to lose balance a little bit because when the person grabs you, this isn't stationary, the person's most likely pulling you in. And when they do pull you in, they're normally pulling you into a shot. They're pulling into a punch, an elbow, headbutt, a knee. Basically, they're trying to control your body weight whilst applying strikes. But the reality of this is, is that when we actually practice these techniques ourselves in class, you try and run some freestyle drills and you find that a lot of the time, when someone gets grabbed like this, their initial gut reaction is to basically try and wrestle this arm somehow and try and break this grip. They normally push themselves back, they're pulling at this and they're trying to... Ugh! There's one major problem with that and the big problem is, is that this is not my concern. If someone actually applies this grab, this is not my concern. My major concern is actually this. It's the strikes that this person's going to throw with the other arm. Bang. Headbutt. Boom. Knee. Ugh. So, you have to look at how these things are applied. Um, when someone actually grabs you like this, there's certain reactions that you should actually train for. And as I said, this is the least of my concerns. This grab is the least of my concerns. This is actually my concern, what's coming on the other side. So. When someone grabs you like this, normally, I like to check the hand. I don't grab it, because if I grab it, basically I'm tying up one of my weapons. My first reaction is, is to check this hand, and as he pulls me in, I'm actually going to come in with a strike. I'm going to come in with a punch. I'm going to apply whatever shots I have to. Keep in mind, even this hand can actually be very useful, because I can still actually apply a shot with this hand strike here, here. If this is really tight and the person's pulling me in really tightly, I can actually still elbow here and I can punch. But my main objective is not, under any circumstances, to try and get into a grappling situation with this person's arm. If I am using my hands to deal with this arm, then I'm leaving myself wide open to a variety of different attacks. So, when someone grabs you, remember, do your best to go with the momentum. He's pulling me in. I need to go in with an attack. Boom. Punch. Elbow. Knee. I need to actually apply my, my own attacks and actually keep moving forward because it's the attacks that I'm actually applying which are actually defending me. Eventually, this grab will actually loosen up. I guarantee you that this grab will actually loosen up. If I continue to actually strike, then this guy's going to want to probably pull his hand away so he can actually hit me with it. So now we're actually in this situation. We're not trying to grapple this person. Now, do not misunderstand me. I think that there's some very skilled people out there, um, some very skilled judokas, some Brazilian jiu-jitsu practitioners, wrestlers who have basically got grappling down to a science. And I can understand people's want to try and actually grapple someone to the ground quite simply because it's an effective way of controlling somebody's body but in reality this is the last place that you want to be in in a street fight you do not want to be on the ground you want to do everything that you can to avoid going to the ground so one more time someone actually grabs you they actually pull you in strike 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 do whatever you have to as regards to strikes to basically deal with this person do not actually attempt to grapple them. You're wasting your time. So, I hope this video was useful. Um, uh, please consider clicking the subscribe button below. Um, we have social media links in the description. And if you have any questions about self-defense um, or martial arts, um, feel free to leave a comment and we'll do our very best to answer them in a the video in the near future. Thanks.